land snail or African land snail is on the move. It seems to be being escorted by an army of ants. A great time of year to see snails is now in summer when there's a lot of moisture around. In winter they typically hibernate or hide themselves away because there's not enough moisture for them to, to move around and survive. Very interesting how the two extensions for lack of a better word at the moment coming out of the, the top of its, its head are its eyes so its eye sockets are situated on the end of those long tentacle like structures and now you can see closer to or just below that it's got another two sensory organs which helps it detect food and they are protractable or retractable if you were to go up to it and scare it, it would be able to completely collapse those eyes and those other two small uh, kind of tentacles that it's protruding out now in front of it. It's certainly living up to its name at the moment. It doesn't even seem to be moving. And typically how they feed is they will feed over something and their mouth is kind of centrally located about a third of the way down their body. Oh, those ants giving it trouble. That's awesome. Look, it's just completely retracted. You could find that those ants are giving it a bit of a hard time because certainly nothing else around to have just disturbed it. Unless it's just camera shot. That's also a potential reason for it. <laughs> To have completely, oh, here he's coming out again. Awesome! Look at that. Imagine having that capability. Okay, so questions just come from Suzanne on Twitter asking how big the snail is. So I'm just going to simply get out and show you how big it is in relation to my size 8 shoe, I've got quite small feet, size 8, so relative to a size 8, you'll see the size of the snail, stand by. Not very big, um, or big, depending on what you're thinking. Uh, about the size of a tennis ball, I guess, would be fair to say. Um, I hope that gives you a good idea of how big it was. Sorry, I, I did disturb a little bit by showing you that, but as we saw earlier, it will simply, as soon as it feels safe, just poke its head out again, see if the coast's clear, and then carry on with its day. I think rather than waiting for it to do that, and then driving past and scaring it back into its shell, we should just head on past now and then let it carry on with its day.